waypoint is a country filled with recent atrocities and genocide. At a time so close, it's hard to even call it history yet. While the rest of the world was busy eating popcorn and watching Star Wars in the tail end of the 70s, the brother number one of Cambodia's Red Claire movement, Pol Pot and his policies, caused the death of over 1.7 million people. As a consequence, most of Cambodia's 14 million population are now under 30 years old, struggling with extreme poverty. But what they do have in abundance are guns, so it's only logical for some Cambodians to make a living out of that resource. If you got the greenbacks, you can fire any type of alley cleaner at any type of target here in Cambodia. We just took a taxi to an army base where corrupt officers sell pistols, assault rifles, machine guns and even bazookas to shoot with to anybody who can put a few hundred dollars on the table. So next we have to go undercover and play gun crazy tourists, militiamen at large. We try to film and record the negotiations with our B camera, the tourist model. What kind of machine gun do you have? You have an M60? Yeah, M60 and M30 and, and K57 Russian machine gun. The guys just offered a, a cow for us for three hundred dollars to shoot shoot with a bazooka. How much is one cow? One cow around three hundred dollar. Three hundred dollars. Yeah. Chicken one chicken twenty dollar. But real men don't shoot cows with bazookas. That's overkill. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's how we make it. Round. Let's give it a ring for freedom. Whoa! What the f? One more. One more. Oh, what happened? It was a uh, not good one. Are you scared? Am I scared? <laughs> so you're pretty scared to shoot here with this 30-year-old Russian ammo. Is it working? It's Nobody working. knows. Okay. Here goes another one. No problem. No problem, as you heard. man big bag of wank isn't it grotesque that these disturbing activities are happening here where these same weapons have been causing that much pain and misfortune now it's time to go to see what real violence is all about we did this the infamous tall slang or s21 prison camp where an estimated 17,000 people were interrogated, tortured, and finally sent to the killing fields during the Khmer Rouge dictatorship. Waterboarding was used here well before the CIA started it in Guantanamo, along with other horrifying torturing techniques. Of the prisoners, only 12 survived. 